Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to The Blessed Place. How y'all doing? I hung out today with my sister and my mom and they love kitchen items. They love cooking, they love kitchen items. So I was hanging out with them and I caught the bug. Um, as some of you may know, I have been trying to cook more on Well, not trying. Let's take that word out. I have been cooking more often and eating healthier over the last week or so. And I plan to continue that um, with in keeping with my quest for less. So we went out today and I'm going to try my best not to make this another 15 minute video. If you have not seen my what's in my purse video. Okay. So I'm just going to show you all. Now this stuff is very basic, but you got to realize that I don't cook. I, I, I used to not cook. So, so many of the basic things I started to realize I don't have in my kitchen when I started to cook over the last few weeks. So some of this stuff I do have, but some of this stuff I just needed more of or I need it. Let's get started. So y'all, I got more forks. Of course we have forks. But we only have, uh, we we have like a lot of smaller forks. But you know, sometimes you want to get with that meat. You want to get with that steak. You want to get with that chicken. And you can't be playing around with them little baby forks uh, that they have. So I decided to buy a few larger forks. I mean, they got some, they got some weight on them. I like that. Okay. Then I got this little ladle looking spoon. I really like that you know, for whatever, soups or whatever. I don't even know what I'm gonna use some of this stuff for, but they just looked cute. Um, I didn't have anything like this. I never had anything like this, nor anything like the one I just showed you. I never had anything like that in my kitchen. So I just thought it would just be good to add to my little repertoire and, you know, for soups and all of that. Like I said, I know basic stuff that most normal people in households keep in their house, but not me, <laughs> I'm not normal. Um, okay, and then I got a, a large spoon. I, I really just needed a, you know, sometimes you just need a, you just, you just need a big spoon to get wet, whatever you're trying to do. Okay, and then I got this. I found myself uh, doing a lot of omelets and uh, things like that. So, and I was looking online on how to cook a good omelet and you're supposed to push those eggs, you know, you, you just gently slide them in the middle and I didn't have anything to slide them in the middle. So I got that and I got another, I got a couple of these, but the ones I have are much wider. So I needed a little bit like a slender spatula. And um, I needed a, uh, what do you call this little thing? Um, spat, uh, is this a spatula? Yeah, spatula. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. <laughs> yeah, so um, I needed a new one of these because the one I have, you know how they get um, all where they they're cur they curl. They're so old. I mean, my y'all, the one I have is years old and it's all curled. And I didn't even realize how bad it was until I started cooking and realized I needed a new one. So I got that. Um, something else that I found that I really, really wanted was some type of funnel. And like, these are different sizes. But I found um, that I, w I w would try to pour stuff and I wish I had a funnel. And quite often I was using my measuring cup to pour stuff when I really wished I had a funnel. So I got the funnel. And oh, I love this. I absolutely love this whisk. You know, I was watching videos, cause yes, I've been watching videos, studying up on how to cook y'all. And so many different things, you know, they would use their little whisk, you know, it's like, I don't even have a whisk. <laughs> so, got me a whisk, so I'll be whisking those eggs and whisking that, whatever. Whatever you use a whisk for, I'll be, I'll have one. Okay, and then I did not have one of these. Now, it seemed like somewhere along the line, years and years and years ago, I remember having one, not quite like this, but you know, the, the straight one, the, but... I don't know what happened to it or maybe it was just my imagination but anyway now that I started cooking it's like I don't have any type of grater so I, and I just love the um, the shape of this and I've never seen one shaped like that um, with all the different sides and and you know see that shape I love that um, I don't know can't be octagon ain't enough sizes but one two three four five six 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 the gun <laughs> whatever child 
<laughs> okay, so I love this and I love it has the handle on it like that and I can I can get with that cheese. So I got that. And then after I cook, I realized that I would have leftovers and nowhere to put it. I didn't have any to um Tupperware to go stuff. I'm telling you, you guys who could eat at home, this seems so basic to you. But when you eat out almost every meal once and twice a day, almost 365 days a year, then you don't have the basic stuff in your house. And I didn't realize that I didn't have, cause I have some things. I have a lot of sporadic stuff that basically my mama probably gave me when I moved in 15 years ago. But so much I did not realize I didn't have. So I didn't realize I didn't have um, a lot of, um, you know, stuff to put my food away and to, to save my food or to, to take food to go. And it makes such a big difference. I mean, this seems like such a basic, simple um, purchase, but it makes a big difference in trying to eat healthier when you can grab, you know, you can have leftovers and you can grab your food and go because I realized that there were so many times that I was rushing out the door to go to work, a 12 hour shift, and I didn't have, um, I might have leftovers, but they were in the pot. I just put the whole pot in the fridge because I didn't have anything to put my leftovers in. So I would just stick the whole pot of rice or the whole pot of um, pork chop or the whole pot of whatever it was, I would stick it in the fridge. And then when I was rushing to work, I didn't feel like taking the pot out and getting the food out and all that. So I would just eat whatever at work. So this is going to really help me. Just a simple, simple purchase of like, tup it's not really Tupperware, but it's not Tupperware brand, but um, it's gonna really help me to prepare better my healthier foods and then just grab and go and, and be able to put it in the microwave. So I got two of those so that my husband can be on this healthier um, journey with me and so that he can take these to work and bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out and put it in the microwave and all them women at his job would know he got a woman at home cooking for him. He don't need y'all to keep bringing him food. But anyways, um, so, and I got those, those have the, um, you know, the, the, the division in, in them. And then I got, uh, two more, one each for me and my husband that don't have the division. Sometimes I just like my food where it don't have the divider in it. And sometimes I do want the divider. So I got two, um, two with dividers and two without. And then I got, um, I like a little roast pan, I guess. Uh, so I, it's I can put it in the microwave or I can put it in the oven and I really like that and I like that it has the top on it because I can like I say whatever food or whatever I make I can you know put it right in the fridge and that's what I really needed so I'll be making my little roast and what have you whatever I decide to throw whatever I decide to throw together in the kitchen because you know how us cooks do and um and then i love this y'all y'all some of y'all know i've been trying to make me some deviled eggs so i'm gonna perfect them deviled eggs because i love deviled eggs and ain't nothing like going to a good old going to a party with some good old deviled eggs y'all know deviled eggs can make a party make or break a party so uh, i got this and i just really like that how it has the little grooves in there for the eggs um and so your little all your little toppings won't get all messed up you know, so when people be start requesting my deviled eggs, I had to have something to take them in, cause you know, cause it, they go come highly requested. So I needed something to be able to put them in. And so I think that is all I got today. But I'm gonna show y'all something I got last week along the lines of kitchenware. I got me one of these for all the cakes that I never made. Y'all ain't never cooked a cake before, but my husband does like to purchase cakes. Um, he has um, this lady on his job who makes awesome cakes, or well, two. Well, one guy, his wife, makes awesome cake, and then one lady who works there, she makes awesome cake. And um, especially red velvet cake, which is my favorite. Um, he, So my husband always bringing home some cakes or whatever, and y'all, I had, I, first I didn't even have a, um, a, a cake. I would just wrap the cake up in some foil. 
Then eventually I got a cake pan, but I think my mom gave it because I told her I didn't even have a cake pan, so she gave me a cake pan. But then I broke the handle and we used that for like a year or two. And so now I just got a new one. And let me show y'all something. Now this is funny. This is something that I bought about two years ago, just on a whim. Cause I was on one of these, I'ma start cooking kick. And I'm a, not just I'ma start cooking, I'ma start baking. And I stopped by the store and I got this. This is a, y'all see that? Mixer. It didn't even want those up to date. You know, cause now I know y'all got kitchen aids and all of that stuff. But for us beginners, this is good enough for us beginners. Cause I remember my mama used, and my mama made some bad cakes using these things right here. And remember y'all, remember we used to fight? See, it was four of us. Remember we used to fight over these little things? I, I got, I called it first. I want that mama, can I have that? So we used to, we used to fight over them little things right there. And so we, since it was four of us and it was only two of those, mama would get, we would have to divide it. And we'd be licking it like a, like a um, popsicle. I'm on one side licking, Deborah on the other side licking. <laughs> Danica on one side licking, Denise on the other side licking. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, I bought this thing about two years ago on a whim that I was going to start baking some cakes. Ain't never open. This ain't never been open. Since, but since I was doing this haul, I just thought I'd share it with y'all. Ain't never been open. But y'all, but one day, I'm going to learn how to make them cakes. I'm not going to eat it, you know, because I'm on my quest for less. But I might start blessing other people with my cakes, with my culinary delights. Okay, you guys, I love you, and I appreciate you watching me and listening to all my antics and all of that and uh, appreciate you guys being uh, my blessed ones if you have any video requests please submit them below or inbox me if that makes you feel more comfortable and i will try my best to get to it love y'all y'all be blessed